Hey guys, welcome to my new After Effects video. In this video, I will show how to make map animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first one, let's create background solid layer. Right mouse, go to new and solid. Add name background and click OK. So select the solid layer, move to behind vector files and go to effects presets. Let's search here fill for change color. Also I want to show how to change default solid colors. Select this solid and hold Ctrl Shift Y and we can change solid settings here also color but I like use fill. So do you want to create forms for your website? Wisma forms a better choice for you. So guys, we can create online forms with Wisma in our website. This is official website wisma.co and we can read all features, how we can use, what we can do this and a better way for do forms, high conversion rates, more leads and all your design assets in one place and stunning appearance, seamless experience and better design less hassles. So we can read here how to create, how to make 3D animations like this and how to get data with Wisma tools and also I have full video about it. Wisma forms, these tools is game changer in your industry and you can watch video and learn how to make online forms for your website with Wisma. All links in the description below. So select fill, let's use solid layer and change color to black. Okay, click OK. So select this background, let's control D for duplicate. Select this background, change layer name grid. And let's lock background solid layer. Go to FS presses, search effect grid. And select grid from generate folder, let's use for solid grid layer. And right now we can select fill and delete. And go to size form, change width slider, change slider color like this, and change opacity. Okay, and let's change color, go to color cube, and let's use this yellow color. Click OK. So let's lock layer grid. Okay, so in this time we can make animation. First of all, let's again unlock this layer, select all these layers, and click this icon for 3D layer and again lock layer grid and background let's right mouse go to new and select this camera for create and don't change any settings click ok so for control camera select this camera one right mouse and go to camera and create orbit node so for move to anchor point center hold control double click pen behind icon click session tool and right now we can make animation with this controller let's for example, let's press R, open rotation, let's see, okay, that's good. So right now select the chat layer, I will make animation for this region and right mouse go to layer styles and stroke. So let's zoom here and open stroke, change stroke color white, click OK and stroke size. Okay, so in this time let's change opacity 0 and close these settings and first of all select this camera null object and press P make new person keyframe and go to 4 second let's zoom to map and let's zoom to up here let's see okay select keyframes make easy or click F9 and select keyframes again go to graph editor select this graph Move to left. Let's see. Okay, that's good. Let's change quality quarter for fast works. Okay, that's good. So back to keyframes and select this layer chat, link to layer map. Select layer map and let's press R, open rotation, make X, Y, and Z rotation. Go to next keyframe and chain rotations like this. Let's see. 
Okay, so let's unlick this layer grid and backgrounds, select layers and click this uncheck for close 3D. So again, lock layers, let's see. Okay, and let's change Z rotation a little bit like this and select this camera null object. Let's move to center this chat region like this and select these rotation keyframes, make easy ease. And let's change Y rotations a little bit like this. Okay, not bad. And select rotation keyframes, go to graph editor, select these graphs, move to left. Okay, that's good. So back to keyframes, select these all keyframes for null object and for map, move to right. Okay, let's see again. Okay, so in this time, select the chat layer and open inside and go to stroke. Let's go to back a little bit, make opacity keyframe for stroke and go to here, change opacity 100%. Select keyframes, make easy. Let's see. Okay, and right now let's Select this chat layer, press P, make new person keyframe, and go to here. Let's move to up like this. Okay, so select keyframes, make easy. Okay, nice. So go to FS presses, search effect Gaussian blur, select this Gaussian blur effect, let's use for map layer. And right now, let's make blurness keyframe here and go to next keyframes change blur like this let's see okay nice and right now let's go to here and change rotation like this and select this null object and move to like this here okay let's see Okay, not bad. Select these rotation keyframes, go to graph editor, and let's select these rotation graphs. Move right a little bit, and like this. Okay, not bad. I like it. So, back to keyframes, and let's close these settings. And go to text, let's write here chat, Clusation tool, go to color, change white, and move to here, and let's click for 3D icon, and link to chat layer. Okay, let's see. Nice, and let's change font size, move to here and font style let's use letter font and use bold change font size okay and let's go to fs presses search effect word and use word processor effect let's use for this chat text layer and press u let's see select these two keyframes move to left And let's cut this layer like this. And say Q frames make easy. Say last Q frame move to right. Let's animation. Okay, move to right this last Q frame for slow animation. Okay, not bad. Okay, not bad. And let's go to FX Presser, search effect draw shadow, select draw shadow effect for this text layer. And change distance like this. And softness. Okay, and opacity. 
Okay, so let's select this text layer, press P. Let's move to the left like this. Okay, and move to here, right? Okay, that's good. So we can add new passing keyframe here. Let's select this chat layer and press P. Make new passing keyframe, go to next keyframe and move to like this. Okay, that's good. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.